Good afternoon and welcome. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you, students, family, friends, faculty, staff, all the community of RVU, as we take time to induct these new members of our community, the RVUCOM class of 2026. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Miller. I'm the Senior Associate Dean for the Utah campus and also for clinical education. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to our community, new students. Receiving your white coat, as you're gonna to learn today, it's vital. It identifies you as a medical professional. The ceremony that we perform today is a time for you to declare to this community, to your family, friends, the world, your commitment to becoming a productive, valuable member of the osteopathic profession. It is a time to take a moment and reflect, hear words of wisdom from those that you will listen to today. Reflect and envision the type of physician you're going to become. How will you approach your craft? What commitment will you bring to your profession and most importantly, to your patients? How will you live each day as an osteopathic physician? And a big question, what is your personal why? the fire inside that keeps you doing it day after day and wanting to do it day after day. Why are you here in medicine at RVU Com? in a specialty that you're gonna choose in just a very few short years? As you move through the ceremony and through your medical career, Take time to reflect on these questions often. Keep a journal. I've kept a journal every day of my professional life. And I am glad every day of my life that I did. I remember patients, I remember friends, I remember days, both good and bad, and it always helps me to become a better physician. Please do the same. Keep coming back to that why, as that will keep you focused on your path, reminding you of the reasons you made to make this a lasting commission, commitment to the profession and to your own ideals. So enjoy this ceremony, learn from our speakers, and honor your new Rocky Vista University College of Osteopathic Medicine members. To pay tribute to our nation, will the audience please rise to pay their respects and join me in welcoming student Dr. Sierra Robb as she sings our national anthem. So proudly we had at the twilight's last glimmer, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallant.
Thank you. Student Dr. Rob, please be seated. I would now like to invite Brock Bakewell, second year student, to the podium. Student Dr. Bakewell is your student government president, and he has been asked to share a few words with you. Student Dr. Bakewell. Thank you, Dr. Miller. And I first want to start off by just welcoming everyone to beautiful St. George. This place is amazing. Sorry about the heat, but it is, it gets better. October, it's unbelievable. You'll come back, don't worry. So first off, I want to talk to the class of 2026, and I want to first welcome you and congratulate you, be the second to congratulate you on being accepted, not only into the noble profession of medicine, but into the elite University of Rocky Vista University. Much like most of you, I remember very vividly where I was when I got the call that has honored me to be a part of this and pursue this profession. And I'm sure, like most of you, you've heard from friends, family, mentors, about how difficult this path will be. You will be pushed not only to your academic limits, but both mentally and physically as well. But don't let this scare you. Do not let this deter you. Each and every one of you has earned the right to sit in those seats in front of me. Go forward with confidence that you belong here. I want to take the short time I have with you today to impart a little bit of knowledge that has helped me in most of my academic career. I want to impart to you a little bit about failure. And I know some of you might think, Failure, that's such a strange thing on such a happy occasion. And I'm hoping that after I have completed this speech that you'll have a little bit less pessimistic outlook on failure and embrace it a little bit more. So I would like first to ask anyone in this auditorium to please stand if you have never experienced failure. That right there is exceedingly powerful to me. Not single person moved, even twitched. That means every single person in this room has experienced failure at some point in their life. The class of 2026, some of the best applicants for medical school in the country have experienced failure. All of your classmates have experienced at least one failure in their life, and you're still here. So to me, there are two camps of people that deal with failure in a very different way. The first camp is the large majority of people those who, with all of their being, try to prevent failure at all costs. Failure to this group is both frustrating and discouraging. Frustrating because it represents a delay or a setback in reaching your goal. It's discouraging because it seems like a bad sign or a poor reflection on your self-image. Now, the second camp of people, they seek failure throughout every aspect of their lives. Failure to the second group is perceived as a learning experience that allows them to grow and gain knowledge. Failure is a part of the process that aids this group not only in their development, but in their learning experience. Now, neither of these is mutually exclusive. An individual can flip back and forth through each of these groups, trying both to prevent and accept failure. But the more time you can spend embracing failure helps change the meaning of failure itself. Failure becomes an opportunity to begin again with more information than you had during the first attempt. The learning experience stimulates growth and helps you grow as an individual and an academic learner. Each of you will be faced in some capacity with failure this first year. I can guarantee you that. But how quickly 
and effectively you move forward will ultimately determine your outcome. I implore you to all seek failure as quickly and as often as you can in your first year and embrace it. Through hard work and a positive mindset, there is no doubt in my mind that each and every one of you will achieve your goal of becoming a physician. Now, as cliche as it is, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Winston Churchill. He said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So I implore you, go forth with the courage to fail. Congratulations again, class of 2026. I wait to, can't wait to see you on campus. I'd like now, at this time, to introduce our keynote speaker. Dr. Heather Farrell, Dean of Arcom, joined Rocky Vista in 2013 as Associate Professor of Osteopathic Principles and Practice, later becoming the chair of that department. In 2019, she assumed the role of Associate Dean of Preclinical Education, just in time for the pandemic. In 2021, she was appointed as the first female dean of Rocky Vista University, College of Osteopathic Medicine. She still serves in the OPP department, now as professor as well, and she is vice president of faculty affairs for Rocky Vista. Dr. Farrell is a graduate of Michigan State University, College of Osteopathic Medicine. She completed a family medicine slash Neuromusculoskeletal Medicine Residency Program at the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine, UNICOM, in 2004. She later returned to UNICOM to complete her Master of Medical Education and Leadership degree in 2010 and served on the faculty for nine years there as Associate Professor and Clinical Specialist of Neuromuscular Medicine, Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine. Dr. Farrell is an internationally sought after specialist in the field of pediatric osteopathic manipulative medicine. During her career, she has served on the board of trustees for the American Academy of Osteopathy and has been involved with the National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners. She has presented and published worldwide on topics such as osteopathic manipulative treatment and pediatric treatments. The depth of her knowledge and experience in the House of Medicine is vast, but that's not the only reason why I asked Dr. Farrell to be our keynote speaker. Every profession has role models that emulate the best qualities of the profession. It's rare to have role models that emulate those qualities in such a way as to inspire others on a daily basis. That is our dean, and that's why I would like her to address you on this day, the first most important day of your medical career. Dr. Farrell. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. It's really wonderful to see you here. As Dean of Rocky Vista University's College of Osteopathic Medicine, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to our white coat ceremony for the class of 2026. Yeah. Doesn't that sound great, you guys? Well, this ceremony is all about learning the symbolism and the meaning of the white coat and how it will be part of the rest of your life. I would tell you that perhaps it symbolizes cleanliness or purity or that it indicates the research lab from which discoveries or breakthroughs come. But you really don't need that. For one, because you've all been in the doctor's office before, you've seen the white coat and you know what that's all about from that perspective. 
But for another, the meaningfulness of the white coat isn't about historical symbolism or intent. It's about you here today, in this moment and in this time, and making this all-important transition, and hear that word, transition, from patient to provider, from someone who views the white coat as a symbol to someone who views the white coat as a uniform. The white coat means, among other things, that you are accepting the responsibility of being a professional, of acting and thinking and responding with professionalism. You will wear a white coat in the cadaver lab, one of the places where, you're, where you will learn about the human body. And you'll also wear it in the standardized patient rooms, one of the places where you will learn about humanity. You are and will be a servant of your community, a member of a group of professionals who are determined to help people, to help your society through your medical training. When you go out in the community for service learning, you are a professional. When you participate in certain educational activities, you are a professional. When you learn from physicians and learn more about the craft, you are a professional. Professionalism begins day one, and wearing this coat will be a constant reminder of your professionalism. It is our sincerest desire that the RVUCOM class of 2026 be prepared for the challenges of the road you embark on today. It's a difficult road. Don't forget that. But more importantly, it's the beginning of a journey initiated by a calling to a higher responsibility to take part in the care of others. The foundations of the biomedical sciences you learn, the physiology, immunology, anatomy, and the osteopathic perspective and art surrounding all of those will be interwoven with humanism and respect for all people who are and will be part of your learning and your, and your practice. As a cohort of physicians sitting here today, you have committed yourself to learning to be better scientists, better humanists, better students, more learned and complete in your knowledge and better equipped to begin the next part of your educational journey. It is our sincerest hope that you will learn from your faculty and moreover, learn with your faculty to join together to produce knowledge and growth beyond what anything we could pr um, produce alone. As you put on your white coat for the first time today, accepting the new role and new responsibilities of this world, I have many hopes and reminders for you. Know that the challenges that await you are great and sometimes daunting, and they are not insurmountable. Let the values of RVU permeate the work that you do. Display integrity to be exemplars of ethical and moral interactions the collegiality to know that you are not alone on this path, the compassion to not only display empathy and kindness, but to feel it with sincerity, recognize diversity of culture and thought and ethnicity and character as you honor those who look and think differently. Strive for excellence in what you learn, how you learn, and how you inculcate that learning into your lives. Perform service for your communities and your world, helping others through your knowledge and your efforts. Be innovators. Dream new ideas. Construct new understanding and think new thoughts, even as you continue to learn from those who come before. My hope for you is that you pursue your education with courage in the face of failure, curiosity in the face of unfamiliarity, and humility in the face of triumph. When you learn, when you help, when you serve, this white coat you put on today symbolizes and affirms your commitment to being an osteopathic physician with all that it brings and all that it requires. Thank you.
are now up to the significance of the white coat. As we progress, I'm sure you're all looking through your brochure. I want to thank the marketing team and all those who were involved with creating it and getting it to us today. It is a document that changes as admissions and matriculated students in has a tendency to change during the month of June. If we have a, a name or two that has not been added to the booklet in the past week, we apologize, but your students are all here. Student doctors, as you all participate in this white coat ceremony today, we want to present some history and significance of the white coat to you and the significance it has to our profession. Please help me in welcoming Dr. David Crimmin to the podium. Good afternoon. Class of 2026. It's my sincere pleasure to share with you a brief history of the significance of the white coat and its place in medicine. For nearly 40 years, or 40 years ago, my wife Rochelle and I and two small children packed my 66 Volkswagen Beetle and embarked on a jury journey from Ogden, Utah to Des Moines, Iowa to pursue my goal of becoming a physician. And what a journey it has been. Some aspects of the practice of medicine have changed over the many years, but the high standards of medical service have not. The practice of medicine remains one of the most noblest uh, cho of chosen work. Today, because of your choice to study medicine at Rocky Vista University, you are also now embarking on your wonderful journey. You are um, leading to become a member of this noble profession also. The donning of the white coat signifies an important step in your journey. The white coat symbolizes a garment of trust and a beacon of hope for those who suffer. It is not something that you're given, but something that you earn through your years of preparation and study and hard work, and there is no shortcut. Interestingly, the rise in the, uh, of the significance of the white coat parallels the development of medicine as a craft uh, based on science, thought, reasoning, rather than folk remedy. In the 1800s, there is very little science in the practice of medicine. Medicine had more to do with mysticism Uh, treatments such as bloodletting, mercury, arsenic, and opium were widely used. Miracle cure tonics claimed to treat everything ranging from cough to cholera to cancers. Surgical instruments of the day consisted of various saws and knives used for urgent limb amputations and other crude procedures. The lack of effective anesthesia made speed, the pre not precision, the priority. Physicians therefore wore black coats to hide the blood and stains of these crude interventions. Visits from the physician were often a last resort and signaled that death was close at hand. So their black attire also spoke to the solemn nature of this visit. On the other hand, scientists of the day wore white coats while doing research and their research frequently revealed the inadequacies of medicine or medical practice of that day. Several significant events in the 1800s changed the face of medicine forever. The forward-thinking father of osteopathic medicine, Dr. Andrew, Andrew Taylor Still, MD, established the first college of osteopathic uh, medicine designed, and I quote, to improve our present system of surgery, obstetrics, and treatment of disease based on a more rational and scientific basis. 
Dr. Joseph Lister demonstrated that the aseptic techniques and practice dramatically improved the outcome of surgical procedures. Dr. Walter Reed conclusively linked mosquitoes to the transition of or, or to the transmission of yellow fever, paving the way for new fields of epidemiology and biomedicine. In, in 1889, Eakin's masterpiece painting of the operating theater showed the physician in a white smock and the nurse in their white cap. In that same year, a photograph of the operating theater at Massachusetts General Hospital showed physicians in white coats over their street clothes. In 1892, Sir, Sir William Osler, textbook of medicine, published per, uh, portraying medicine as a scientific endeavor. And one of his famous quotes that I enjoy and teach to my students is his quote, to, that physicians should cure sometimes, relieve often, but comfort always. As the value of aseptic technique and cleanliness was established at the core of medical practice, medicine truly became a scientific endeavor. Medical science advanced at an incredible rate, and it still does, at, with the discoveries of insulin, development of antibiotics and vaccines, and rapidly improving surgical techniques and diagnostics. The white coat firmly became entrenched as a symbol of modern medicine. So the symbolism of the white coat has continued to evolve. In 1993, Dr. Arnold Gold of Columbia University was worried that the technical advances uh, in healthcare and the connection between patients and those who'd cared for them was fraying. He knew that hum the human connection, the careful listening, the attention to patient and family was essential no matter how much all the advancing technology could tell us. At medical school graduation ceremonies, he observed students pledging an oath of compassionate care to their patients. But by then, Dr. Gold thought, it's too late. So he started a new ceremony at the beginning of your medical school journey, the, this white coat ceremony. The donning of the white coat emphasizes compassion and the human connection from the very beginning of, the, of your medical training through, and through internship and residency and finally to becoming a fully licensed healing physician. It symbolizes to your colleagues and to your patients the path that you have chosen. It is a, consistent, a constant reminder that a great trust has been bestowed upon you. It is a symbol of togetherness and camaraderie as you, fall, as you and your fellow students struggle to learn and embrace the four goals of medicine. One, to cure and eradicate disease. Two, to prevent disease and injury. Three, promote health and well-being. And fourth, relieve suffering. The oath of this ceremony starts your journey of noble service, pledging in statement your intent to be ethical, honorable students and healthcare professionals. The white coat is a symbol of humanism, professionalism, and other virtues such as patient advocacy, empathy, compassion, service, respect, collegiality, loyalty to the profession, and the lifelong study and learning of medical science. So as your faculty and staff here at RVU, we welcome you to the art and practice of medicine and medical care. And as Dr. Goldstein, or Gold counseled, listen, listen to your patients. See them as human beings and not as medical anomalies. Don't be afraid to care. And I'd like to repeat that. Don't be afraid to care. The connection you make with your patients and their families are and will be priceless. So welcome to the osteopathic medical family and profession. <clears throat> we are now at the point you've all been waiting for, the presentation of the white coats. I would like to invite some of our great faculty to join me up on the stage to quote our student doctors. So please approach the stage, Dr. Harold Feather, Heather, 
<laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Heather Farrell, Dr. David Forstein, Dr. Stephen Miller, Dr. Chris Edwards, Dr. Brooks Beal, Dr. Keith Bedrow, and Dr. Mark Wardle. Student doctors, as you approach the stage, we ask you to individually announce yourself by stating your name, your school where you achieved your highest degree, and your hometown. And if you are serving in the military, please state your rank and branch of service. We ask the audience to please hold your applause until each group of students receive their white coat. So student doctors, please stand and approach the stage row by row. Student Dr. Isatiz Ruiz, Orlando, Florida, University of Florida. Student Dr. Daniel Blackmore, Creston, British Columbia, Canada, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Marielle Hansen, Wilcox, Arizona, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Mary Henry, St. George, Utah, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Sarah Lee, Lehigh, Utah, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Chase Cruz, Overton, Nevada, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Brandon Chamberlain, Sandy, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Zafina McElroy, Three Rivers, California, Fresno State, uh, yeah. Student Dr. Brogan Crockett, St. George, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Cameron Robbins, Orem, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Christian Johnson, St. George, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Ryan Taylor, Lehigh, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Richard Jimenez, San Antonio, Texas, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Parker Stevens, Holiday, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Gregory Matson, Las Vegas, Nevada, Utah Valley University, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Danielle Ogleberry, Draper, Utah, University of Utah. Student Dr. Gentry Ensign, Chugiak, Alaska, the University of Puget Sound, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Kaylin Sorensen, Grace, Idaho, Idaho State University. Student Dr. Alex Kimberling, Stansbury Park, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Tyler Burke, Riverton, Utah, Brigham Young University. 
student doctor, Robert Baker, Plainfield, Illinois, Illinois State University. Student doctor, Gabby Costain, Denver, Colorado, University of Northern Colorado. Student doctor, Yasser Noor, Glen Cove, New York, Long Island University. Student doctor, Natalie Moldovan, Litchfield Park, Arizona State University. Student doctor, Alexander McRae, Logan, Utah, Utah State University. Student doctor, Shelley, Idaho, Brigham Young University, Idaho. Student doctor, Megan Feria, Cumberland, Rhode Island, University of Rhode Island. Student Dr. Madeline Newsom, Albuquerque, New Mexico, University of New Mexico. Student Dr. Nathan Olson, Helper, Utah, University of Utah. Student Dr. Nathan Cornell, American Fork, Utah, Utah Valley University. Student Dr. Cole Bingham, Hooper, Utah, Weber State University. Student Dr. Tanner Buckway, Ogden, Utah, Weber State University. Student Dr. Christian Klena, Boise, Idaho, University of Utah. Student Dr. Andreas Grossen, Gilbert, Arizona, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Zachary Herbert, Lake in the Hills, Illinois, Weber State University. Student Dr. Stephen Wong, Sandy, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Caleb Wagner, Fargo, North Dakota, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Tony Areola Patino, New Dale, Idaho, Rocky Vista New University. Student Dr. Casey Merklin, Kearney, Nebraska, the University of Nebraska at Kearney, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Nicole Blechter, Marlboro, New Jersey, Georgetown University. Student Dr. Kayala Verrigan, Portland, Oregon, University of Oregon. Student Dr. Madison Lee, Rogers, Minnesota, Wheaton College. Student Dr. Jillian Nicholas, Union, Oklahoma, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Olivia Voltaggio, Lewisburg, West Virginia, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. William Kretzer, Liberty Hill, Texas, Rocky Vista University, 2nd Lieutenant, U.S. Army. Student Dr. Michaela Darling, Spokane, Washington, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Kayla Johnson, Draper, Utah, the University of Utah. 
Student Dr. Michael Vaughn Johnson, Cedar Hills, Utah, the University of Utah. Student Dr. Ryan Christiansen, Pleasant Grove, Utah, Utah State University. Student Dr. Jace Blomquist, Florence, Montana, Brigham Young University, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Isaias Torres, Palm Springs, California, Cal State University, San Marcos, United States Navy, Ensign. Student Dr. Brandon Syak, Glendon, Minnesota, Concordia College. Student Dr. Manhin Yang, Hong Kong, University of California, Davis. Student Dr. Emma Cravo, Westfield, New Jersey, Union College. Student Dr. Rebecca Franklin, Los Angeles, California, Rosalind Franklin University. Student Dr. Katie Arnold, St. Louis, Missouri, the University of Kansas. Student Dr. Antonella Lozano, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Florida Atlantic University, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Student Dr. Kimberly Tiffany, Rochester, New York, University of Rochester. Student Dr. Trail Grace, Layton, Utah, the University of Utah. Student Dr. Cole Christensen, Salem, Utah, Utah State University. Student Dr. Hunter Thompson, Anchorage, Alaska, Colorado Mesa University, Second Lieutenant, U.S. Air Force. Student Dr. Bren Manwaring, Springville, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Court Gillette, Pocatello, Idaho, Utah State University, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Camila Ugas, Wildwood, Florida, University of Central Florida, Second Lieutenant, United States Navy. Student Dr. Charlotte Madsen, Lafayette, Indiana, City University of New York. Student Dr. Serena Hawatme, Draper, Utah, the University of Utah. Student Dr. Jared David C., Fremont, California, University of California, Merced. Student Dr. Tommy John, Fort Lauderdale, University of Florida. Student Dr. Casey Doney, Syracuse, Utah, Weber State University. 
student Dr. Lisa Tenney, South Jordan, Utah, University of Utah. Student Dr. Summer Magnuson, Fresno, California, Fresno State University. Student Dr. Elliot Drake, Petoskey, Michigan, the Lutheran School of Theology at Chicago. Student Dr. Jasmine Butson, Muhammad, Illinois, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Student Dr. Jake Cooley, Grand Forks, North Dakota, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Jessica Vergara, Las Vegas, Nevada, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Stephanie Salcedo, New Rochelle, New York, and Rocky University. Student Dr. Regina Gojar, Las Vegas, Nevada, University of Nevada. Student Dr. Ryan Cox, Pocatello, Idaho, Idaho State University. Student Dr. Anna Alfaro, Salem, Oregon, uh, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Haley Marie Williams, Buchanan, West Virginia, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Nadia Alinegizade, Phoenix, Arizona, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Sierra Taylor, Richfield, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Carson Bumstead, Earlville, Illinois, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Kaylee Meister Kleinick, Las Vegas, Nevada, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Rachel Pugh, Port Recovery, Ohio, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Joseph Gurich, Lehigh, Utah, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Kira Rivera, San Diego, California, University of California at Santa Cruz. Student, doc <laughs> Student Dr. Iso Romo, uh, Woodbridge, Virginia, Brigham Young University, 2nd Lieutenant, U.S. Army. Student Dr. Harrison Torgerson, Price, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Sandin Stokes, Cedar City, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Brandon Pace, Elwood, Utah, Utah State University. Student Dr. Jonathan Knudsen, Bountiful, Utah, the University of Utah. Student Dr. Levi Lampson, Sandy, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Connor Dearden, Salt Lake City, Utah, Utah Valley University, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Student Dr. Tyler Trent, St. George, Utah, Dixie State University. 
student Dr. Brett Holmes, South Jordan, Utah, Utah Valley University. Student, student Dr. Justin Williams, Pocatello, Idaho, Brigham Young, University of Idaho. Student Dr. Tristan Coles, um, St. George, Utah, University of Utah. Student Dr. Sanad Neighbor, Rockville, Maryland, Georgetown University. Student Dr. Emily Aishan Martin, Edmond, Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center. Student Dr. Hugh Zhang, Boulder, Colorado, University of Colorado. Student Dr. Tommy Kelly, Minneapolis, Minnesota, University of Minnesota. Student Dr. Adrian Landeros from Riverside, California, UCLA. Student Dr. Ahmed Nabil Al Basha, Detroit, Michigan, Wayne State University. Student Dr. Arpit Danivalia, San Jose, California, University of California, San Diego. Student Dr. Thomas Hatfield, Mesa, Arizona, Arizona State University. Student Dr. Jack Rosa, Bloomington, Illinois, University of Iowa. Student Dr. Samuel Chadwick, Logan, Utah, Utah State University. Student Dr. Logan Seed, Marysville, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Christopher Abraham, St. George, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Dylan Bowie, Las Vegas, Nevada, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Student Dr. Mason Smith, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Boise State University. Student Dr. Allison Cosme, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, University of Central Florida. Student Dr. Natalia Correa, Mexico City, Mexico, Northern Arizona University. Student Dr. Katie Whedon, Boise, Idaho, Idaho State University. Student Dr. Christopher Perez, San Antonio, Texas, Rocky Vista University, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Student Dr. Clarence Reyes, Oahu, Hawaii, University of California, Davis. Student Dr. Tyler Grillo, Laughlin, Nevada, Oral Roberts University. Student Dr. Katie Smith, Layton, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Savannah Salik, San Diego, California, Cal State San Marcos.
student Dr. Ben Hinatsu, Fruitland, Idaho, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Mateus Cruz, Ereshin, Huron do Sul, Brazil, University of Utah. Student Dr. Lainey Frederick, Lincoln, Nebraska, Creighton University. Student Dr. Elizabeth Chernogorova, Las Vegas, Nevada, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Student Dr. Grace Cow, West Covina, California, UCLA. Student Dr. Rachel Chan, Parker, Colorado, Vassar College. Student Dr. Landon Johnson, Syracuse, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Martin Olson, Lodi, California, Montana State University, Billings. Student Dr. Andrea Bender, Sharon, Massachusetts, Rutgers University. Student Dr. Cassandra Hansen, Clarion, Iowa, University of Northern Iowa. Student Dr. Robert Hanlon, Salt Lake City, Utah, University of San Diego. Student Dr. Michael McGonigal, New Fairfield, Connecticut, University of Connecticut. Student Dr. Arseni Fahim, Houston, Texas, Trinity University. Student Dr. Amin Osman, Chicago, Illinois, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Vito Antonio Chavez da Costa, um, Boca Raton, Florida, and Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Magid Ayad, Los Angeles, California, Rocky Vista University. Student Dr. Cyra Valdez Garcia, Encinitas, California, University of Utah. Student Dr. Alex Calcibetta, Tampa, Florida, United, University of South Florida. Student Dr. Eve Golden, Waterbury, Vermont, St. Lawrence University. Student Dr. Rabela Voss, Chandler, Arizona, Arizona State University. Student Dr. McKenna Risa, Tooele, Utah, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Cody Joe McKinley, Aurora, Utah, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Dresden Quackenbush, Las Vegas, Nevada, Dixie State University. Student Dr. Mallory Weed, Far West, Utah, Utah State University. Student Dr. Jimmy Du, Honolulu, Hawaii, University of California, San Diego. Student Dr. Skylar Van Horn, Auburn, California, Brigham Young University. 
Student Dr. Samuel Pato, Hyderabad, India. Brigham Young University, specialist in the United States Army. Student Dr. Ashlyn Hill, American Fork, Utah, Southern Utah University. Student Dr. Jacob Rogers, Eugene, Oregon, Northern Arizona University. Student Dr. Parker Miller, Fillmore, Utah, Utah Valley University. Student Dr. Tyler Klingler, Seymour, Indiana, Utah Valley University. Student Dr. Justin Amos, Elgin, Minnesota, University of Minnesota, Staff Sergeant, U.S. Army. Student Dr. Kate McKee, San Diego, California, University of California, Santa Barbara. Student Dr. Blake Fredrickson, Castle Pines, Colorado, Pepperdine University. Student Dr. Jared Arese Rizalme, San Diego, California, Brigham Young University. Student Dr. Miles Collins, Draper, Utah, Utah Valley University, Second Lieutenant, U.S. Air Force. Student Dr. Chad Beckstrom, Draper, Utah, Utah Valley University. Student Dr. Jacob Pendleton, Ivins, Utah, Southern Utah University. Will the class of 2026 please rise for the oath? This is your first pledge to the profession. Please raise your right hand. I state your name. Pledge two, provide compassionate quality care to my patients. Partner with them to promote health. Display integrity and professionalism throughout my career. Advance the philosophy, practice, and science. Of osteopathic medicine. Continue lifelong learning. Support my profession with loyalty in action, word, and deed. and live each day as an example of what an osteopathic physician should be. 
Please be seated. Congratulations. I would now like to invite Rocky Vista University CEO, President, and Provost, Dr. David Forstein, to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. I was trying to keep count there as the students were introducing themselves. I think I had it right that, that we had over 26 states, four countries represented, I lost track of the universities, and 16 or 17 students currently serving in our military. So I want to thank them for that. You heard a lot of the students introduce themselves as graduates of Rocky Vista University. Some of you may not know that we have a program, a Master's of Science in Biomedical Sciences, which is designed to help students prepare for medical school. It is a highly competitive program, and all the students who, who were here who said Rocky Vista University as their college of graduation performed extremely well in order to earn their spot in the medical school class. So I want to welcome them all back, and congratulations. Before concluding these proceedings, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the members of the RVU faculty and staff who helped make this ceremony possible. So thank you for all the work you did to put this together. Additionally, and most importantly, the people sitting behind the students and next to the students, your loved ones deserve some recognition. They have been on this journey with you to help you get to medical school. And they will be with you for the next four years as well, providing love, comfort, food, and perhaps a, even a little financial support. So let's take a moment to appreciate them. Thank you very much. These proceedings are now officially concluded. Will the audience please stand until the end of the recessional? Students and guests are invited uh, with their family and friends to an open house on campus beginning at 3.30 to enjoy refreshments and tours. We hope to see you all there. Dr. Doctors Farrell and Miller, will you lead the faculty during the recessional and the students will follow the faculty just as you must follow the other teachers and mentors throughout your career. Some recessional music, please.